everyone, it's your girl Sash Laurel and you're watching Happy Foods 242. Welcome to another exciting episode. I'm very excited about this show. Our very first private chef with his own company, Flavors Catering by Chef Corey Small. Hi, hi everybody, how you doing? So Chef Corey is gonna make we in fact, this menu is so out of the box. I'm so ready for it, so I'm not going to give you a sneak peek just yet. Stay tuned. You're watching Happy Foods 2, 4, Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where the hurricane shutters are? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't work for CBS Bahamas. But you do work for BahamasLocal.com. You guys know where everything is in the Bahamas. Excuse me, sir. Does this come with leather seats? Sorry, I have to work out tomorrow. But you're with BahamasLocal.com. You know everything. We might not know everything, but we do know how to get your company more business. Hey, hey, Mr. Bahamas Local, what number could fall today? Well, mother sick, miss. Not you again? Contact BahamasLocal.com Want to advertise with us at Happy Foods 242? Just send us an email at HappyFoodsBahamas at gmail.com. You can also advertise with us on our social media as well. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Look for us, Happy Foods 242. So welcome back, you're watching Happy Foods 242 and we are showcasing Flavors Catering Company with Chef Corey Small. And Chef Corey is going to tell us what we'll be doing first tonight because we're gonna show you a little bit of what they do. And then at the end, we'll do some more talking so you can find out how to reach Chef Corey and all that. But the eating happens first yes. and cooking. So yes. Chef Corey, what are we doing first? What are we doing? We're doing a roasted butternut squash soup okay. with coconut, milk and curry. That sounds so healthy. We have, <laughs> so we have our butternut squash, onion, white wine, some secret ingredients, thyme and coconut milk. Secret ingredient? Yeah, don't get involved in that right now. Okay. So first we're going to roast off our butternut as well as our onion. And we're going to give this a good roast. Uh, most persons ask me what is a good what is the secret to a good soup? Uh -huh. This right here is the most, this is the secret right here. Now what, so, what was in the pot before you put? Oh, uh, we had some olive oil. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, try, this, I try to make this, I don't know. Yeah. I have a no squash, maybe yeah. something else. The pea soup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this right here is the most important part of the soup, is roasting. Okay. You want to get all the juices from the butternut squash and the onion getting together and partying with one another. Okay. Okay. I like how you put that partying. Okay, so we're gonna add some time. Okay. We put time in everything. Yeah. And we're gonna uh, add secret ingredients. Some secret ingredient one. A sprinkle of curry powder. Why don't you just tell me what secret ingredient one is? But you don't know the cut cut kind of curry powder. Oh okay. Curry powder is curry powder, no? No it's not. Okay. Different. My father was a chef. Okay. He can set it for me. Uh, and he's, a, he's actually from the Caribbean, which is from the south. Okay. So our curry is different from the Bahamian curry. I got it. Got it? Yeah. So you're just going to curry that down. That smells good already. Yeah. Smell like curry chicken. Yeah. And how long does something like this usually? It's a, actually a quick soup. It okay. doesn't take long to get together and start having a party. I just can smell the aroma coming up and out. Yeah. All right. I wish y'all had smell of vision <laughs> so y'all could smell. So we're gonna add some white wine. I think every single show this season, I've said that I'm giving up on God <laughs> so far and it has not come to fruition. We didn't do God. So, so we have our squash, we have our onions, we have our thyme, we have three secret ingredients and we have our white wine. Okay. A little bit of water. Put a nut on put a nut on, on garlic. Okay. okay. And I can actually smell yeah. everything. And you you use local fresh ingredients? Yes, all of our ingredients were purchased in the Bahamas except for our curry. Okay. Our curry was our cheese brought in from Jamaica. 
Okay. So it's a little bit of spice to it. Okay. Yeah, so it's just, it has a spice, it has a certain kick to it. So we're gonna let this reduce for about a minute or two. Mm -hmm. After which we're gonna use our honey blender, puree it together, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna serve. So what about our milk? We're gonna add our milk later. Okay. The milk is going to be tipped off. What most persons do, most persons do add the milk in it, but I want to add the milk on top so you get a fresh taste, that coconut milk taste. Okay. Yeah. Now I know this is a catering company and you okay. do, I've seen some of the pictures online. Yes. If you go to Flavors Catering on Facebook, you'll be able to find a lot of information about Chef Corey. Mm -hmm. So you would tell me a little bit about the business itself. You would, people would say, I hit you up, Chef Corey. I'm thinking about doing something special for my special A or B. Um, I want you to prepare a meal. How do you come up with, like, how does it all work? Well, the uniqueness of our company is that we try to build our thing. We we'll take it to our clients. Okay. So the first thing that we normally do is that we request and we request a meeting with you. Okay. We want to know what you're trying to do, what you're trying to achieve, whether it's an anniversary, whether it's a birthday party, whether it's something surprise. And we want to know the story. You want to know gotcha. why you're doing it, what's happening, like, which, what, what is the meaning of it? We want our food to have meaning. Okay. So sometimes we speak to our clients and someone say, oh, he loves tomato soup. Or when we went out to Starbucks, his favorite drink was something with coffee and espresso. So, mm -hmm. so we try to incorporate them inside the food. So the I first like thing is a conversation. Right. That we normally sit down with our clients. Awesome. So as you can see, it's coming to a complete boil. Now what's happening, the party is getting Excited. Everybody's been excited at the party. So I normally give it a quick stir. You like that? That smells so yeah. good. It actually is good. It actually didn't know it's gonna eat tonight, but I kind of figured it out. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do um normally what most persons do. Most chef and most persons who would cut a soup and do it strain. I don't strain my soup. Okay. I allow it all that flavor, all that onion at that time. Mm -hmm. Once we would have Blended it together, we're gonna pour it straight into the bowl, garnish it, and we send it out. You're gonna taste everything with this soup. That's, that's right. interesting, okay. So you taste it, you taste everything in the soup. Okay, so just give us the ingredients quickly again. So once again, there's butternut squash, mm -hmm. there's onions, mm -hmm. thyme, gotcha. you have some garlic inside there, mm -hmm. curry, gotcha. olive oil. Gotcha. Okay. So if I wanted to do this, I can do this with another vegetable as yeah, well? Yeah, you can do another vegetable. But normally the butternut squash is, is found into the pumpkin soup. Right. So it's found into the pumpkin soup. You can do it with pumpkin, you can do it with tomato. And we did a spicy basil and tomato soup with the same concept mm -hmm. for one of our clients as well because they're pretty, they, love, they love tomato. Awesome. Yeah, so we did a spicy basil and tomato soup with the same concept. And the wine, you can smell the wine. Or the wine yeah, I'm definitely okay. smelling the wine. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this in the blender. Okay, I'm leaving that up to you. I feel yeah. like I can get dirty. <laughs> and you just putting it all in there. All in there. We're carrying the party home now. Get a little bit of that juice. That smells so good. I'm sure my mother will try this and tell me about it. <laughs> now we're going to add a little bit of the coconut milk now for the blending process. Okay. Are you just putting it right in there? Yeah, you're going to taste the all natural flavor. We don't want to water it down. We want to add to it. We want, to, we want you to taste coconut milk. Some of the same coconut milk. Just want to put it right on top. It looks so good. 
because now I'm a squash person, but I could be a squash person today. Salt, season the taste. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and try it. And that's that. And that's that. Ah, uh, butter roasted butternut squash, butternut squash, squash soup. soup. Yes. With coconut, coconut milk, milk and curry. And curry. What can I say? This looks so good. Um, I'm gonna try it. I should try it. I can try it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. That is good. I can taste the squash. Definitely taste the flavor of the onions, the thyme. Definitely the coconut milk. This is really good. Now what most persons normally do because butternut squash is a sweet vegetable. Mm -hmm. So what some persons do when they're, when they're roasting it down and use a little bit of brown sugar okay. or white sugar to give it that sweetness from it. But we like to give an all natural taste with our food. Now we want to, as we always say, season the taste. We want mm -hmm. to make sure our, uh, like you see we add the salt at the end of part of it. We didn't use it when we roast them because we want you to get all the taste of the, from the vegetables itself. All right, you all heard it here first with Chef Corey. Stay tuned, you're watching Happy Foods 242. When we come back, he's going to make us something else that's going to be absolutely awesome. So stay tuned. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where the hurricane shutters are? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't work for CBS Bahamas. But you do work for BahamasLocal.com. You guys know where everything is in the Bahamas. Excuse me, sir. Does this come with leather seats? Sorry, I have to work out tomorrow. But you with BahamasLocal.com. You know everything. We might not know everything, but we do know how to get your company more business. Hey, hey, Mr. Bahamas Local, what did I make a fall today? Well, mother sick, miss. Not you again? Contact BahamasLocal.com. Want to advertise with us at Happy Foods 242? Just send us an email at happyfoodsbahamas at gmail.com. You can also advertise with us on our social media as well. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Look for us. Happy Foods 242. Welcome back. You're watching Happy Foods 242. And the soup is really good. And now we're moving on to, I guess, what I would call the salad course. And Chef Corey is going to do something very, very interesting to me. I've never, ever heard of this concept. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but you're going to learn it here today. And you will see it here first on Happy Foods 242. So I'm just gonna let him take it away. All right, guys, we're gonna do something new, something innovative, something different. We're gonna do a fried conch salad. Repeat that. Fried conch salad. No slow up. <laughs> fried conch salad. Okay, I hope y'all got that. Gold pepper vinaigrette. I told Chef Corey okay. I don't like spice. Yes. Right. So I have my a palate cleanser, chili. right? Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do? You wanna tenderize our conch? I'm gonna slice it on the bias. So it's seasoned. With the little seasoning, fresh kong, tenderized. It's not cooked? No. Just seasoned, okay. Yeah. So we're gonna bread it. And that's just our regular flour, flour. eggs. Yeah. Regular mix, okay. Nothing So I like a regular tongue salad. We're actually cooking the tongue. Yeah. Okay. Now you have those thinly sliced. Yeah. Any particular reason? Well, for two, for one reason in particular, it helps with the seasoning. Okay. The seasoning very quickly. 
and it helps with the tenderizing process. Okay. And you're just strategically placing them. Now what's, what's this? Now this is a gold pepper and pineapple relish. Gold pepper and pineapple? Relish. Well, I guess sweet, the sweet and the... Yes. Okay. If I wake up with heartburn tomorrow, play with <laughs> catering, I'm calling you all. <laughs> so you already tell me a gold pepper I um dressing too? Yes. So this is some mini microgreens. Okay, not lettuce. No. I'm gonna say lettuce. <laughs> Mini microgreens. Yes. Chef Corey, how long you been doing this? Um, well, my father was a chef. Mm-hmm. And once a chef, always a chef. So he is a chef. Okay. And I've been doing it for about five years. Okay. On my own. Awesome. You went to school for this? Yeah, or? I went to COB. Okay, awesome. Shout out to COB. Okay. I want y'all to see how Chef, like this is like a science. He's strategically placing each element on the plate. Something that I hope to do, learn to do one day. I just like the eating part. How how much of food, Chef Corey, would you say? Well, let me rephrase my question. How much of a role does presentation play when it comes to the overall food experience for you as a chef? Well, for me, honestly, presentation is key. But my main thing is taste. Okay. That's the reason for our coming game called flavors. I mean, for us, it makes no purpose or point to have a beautiful plated food in front of you, mm -hmm. and it doesn't taste like that. Okay. So presentation is about, we would say about 50% of our work. Okay. 50%. Gotcha. So we're going to pop it off with some the water bar. I can't get no ketchup in. <laughs> fry dry. Yeah, fry dry. Get it's a fry. Pirate cleaner for you. Please. Nice water. Be innovative. Mm -hmm. well, the part of our company code is being innovative. We want to do something different. We want to be what is new out there, what is different. And we always talked about doing traditional meals with a 21st century twist to it. Gotcha. So we just thought about it, we came up and me and my team came up with it and we was like, let's try it. Can I get a Go small ahead. bite? Just so I can cut this and not, I don't want to put the whole thing in my mouth. Try this. Thank you so much. Yes. Some of the conch, some of the sauce, some of the pineapple and ghost pepper relish. I taste all the flavors. It's really good. Get a thumbs up for me. It's different and the tongue is extremely tender. Yeah extremely tender so I'm very excited my stomach is very excited chef Corey take it away tell us what we're gonna be doing now okay what we're gonna do we're gonna do a buttered poached lobster tail and a pan fried rock of lamb okay now traditionally buttered poach is actually done with the lobster out of the tail poaching and a nice buttered sauce but our flavors we believe in flavor mm -hmm. so what we did we minus out one fire and went straight for the flavor so what we do, we crack our shells, we lightly season our lobsters, we put a high fat butter on top of our lobster with some thyme. I can buy that in the food store? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then we also, but actually this butter has been, yeah, you can buy this butter in the food store. Okay. And then actually what you do is white wine. 
Yeah. You like yeah. a lot of wine. Yeah, I like training the French restaurant. So we okay. doing, we get some our bohemian foil. We're gonna cover this up. Okay. Nice and tight. What sort of seasoning did you use? Uh, well, we use sea salt, cracked black pepper, some mummy and daddy, which is mummy and daddy special seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> and some thyme. I like that, mummy and daddy. Some thyme and butter. Gotcha. Okay, so we're gonna rest in the oven. Now give us the time and the temperature on those. Well, it's, 300, it's on 350 degrees. Okay. And it's gonna be about, I would say 15 to 20 minutes. You don't want it to get cooked too long mm -hmm. because you don't want it long to the overcook. Got you. All right. Now are you, would you say that there are some flavors located in the shell, which is why you're leaving it in yeah, the Yeah, well, well the actual salt from the sea mm -hmm. is always inside the, any fish, Makes any sense. seafood. So we like to get our seafood fresh. So you actually get a taste of the sea in your food. Gotcha. All right. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna deal with our rack. New Zealand rack of lamb. It's been clean, cut, seasoned. That New Zealand lamb. That's yeah. probably some of the best lamb you could get. Yes. So we're gonna be clean, cut, and seasoned. Okay. We're gonna get, put our pan on. You want the pan to be nice and hot. We're gonna get a nice side piece of butter. Is this all high fat butter again? Yeah. Okay. So how would I know, like, when I go on the food store, Chef Corey, does it say high fat butter? No, it just says butter. So how, butter. how would I know? But see, first thing, normally, well, most Bahamians get it confused. We cook with margarine. Okay. Which is not butter. What's the difference? The fat content. Okay. Butter has more fat than margarine. Gotcha. All right. Gotcha. See, you're learning on this show, too. Butter, different okay. from margarine. So we're going to stir off our rack. So you just could drop the whole thing in there like that? Yeah. We're not cutting it. No. Any reason why? We, what we would have done, we would have nicely marked it. Okay. So we could allow the heat to go through. through. So we're gotcha. not going to cut it. And what are our seasonings on our lamb? Once again, we have garlic, mm -hmm. we have black pepper, we have salt, we have mummy and daddy. <laughs> mummy and daddy, okay. And we have some nice thyme. Okay. Okay. Usually people don't cook lamb on the stove. Yeah. They cook lamb in the oven. Okay. So we're, no, we're not cooking, we're searing it. Okay. Okay. Got you. And so sear is just your to get that juices outer coating. To be held inside and not come become out of the meat. So what's gonna happen once you put it inside the oven, mm. all of that juice is gonna be inside and be cooking that lamb. Got you. Alright. Got you. Once again. Some more white wine. Now, Chef so, Corey, I've noticed <laughs> a trend with this white wine. Can you see the nice color? Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And adding the wine to the pot does what? To glaze it. I need that thing, I just want to see that it's right. And we're going to wrap this inside the oven. Okay. To finish. So just for a while our lobster and our lamb are in the oven. Okay. Let's tell people how they can reach you, how they can find flavors if they want to do a special occasion, a birthday party, just mm -hmm. a small dinner for two. Okay. Where where do we find you? How do we find you? N numbers, social media, give us all that information. Okay, of course we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, and my contacts are 477-CHEF, which is 477-2433. Okay, so we're on all the social media. We actually have our Facebook page up, Instagram page, like I said, Twitter, and everything. So we're all there. Gotcha. Contact number once again is 477 chef or 477 2433. And the names on social media are uh, Flavors, Flavors Catering. Okay. Okay. That's straight across Facebook, straight. Instagram. Yeah. Got you. All right. Okay, so y'all heard it first from Chef Corey. We're going to do some magic. Okay, so now our food is done and Chef Corey is going to do, I guess he's going to finish off our meal and plate it. Mm -hmm. And so Chef Corey would. 
I'm gonna open this last because I just. Okay, now the lobster is done. As you can see, all of that succulent moisture and wine and the butter has gotten right. up. So we're just gonna wanna let it flip in it a little bit more. That's the more flavor. So we say soft it up. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. We like to say that. So we're gonna get our lamb. Now when we talk about meat, I know I like my meat kind of well done. What's ideal in terms of the culinary world, the chef world? How, what's the best the cook best, for the, for the, for the, the chef? The best temperature for a nice, for me, mm -hmm. is between medium, medium well mm -hmm. to medium. Okay. Alright. So we're just going to plate this. And that's what we have here? Yeah, we have about a medium, medium consistency. Okay. Gotcha. This is almost like a little surf and turf ale. Yeah, that's what it's traditionally called. Okay. So instead of steak, we're gonna use lamb. Mm. Should put some happy songs right here. See why you call yourself um, flavors? You don't let them out noise. And that's how we do it here on the show. Nothing goes to waste. You're gonna add a little side, a little small salad. salad. Put one tomato there for me. Yeah, I love tomatoes. Like I eat them like. And what all is that's that's freshly made. It's actually, it is freshly made. Mm -hmm. Just a balsamic vinegar bread. Okay. A little bit of red wine, brown sugar, and juice. Okay. okay. Happy dance, happy dance. Season three, happy dance. All right. Woo! You know what I saw and say, makes me wanna shout. Hallelujah, thank you Jesus. Glory, glory, <laughs> Lord your holy. <laughs> So I'm about to um, dig into, I don't even know what, see, that's why I don't like your chefs, you can't, you don't even want to, you know, mess up the plate, but I'll start with the lobster, looks like the easiest thing, I'm going to deconstruct this plate. Mm. Lobster is perfectly cooked. We just want to point out that she's cutting the piece of rock alarm with a butter knife. To show us the tenderness of the rock alarm. What he said. <laughs> Chef Corey, you've outdone yourself. Thank you. The food is really good. And one of the things I liked about Chef Corey is he's extremely clean. He's meticulous when it comes to clean cleaning. Also, his presentation and I like that about him. Chef Corey, tell him what show you on. We're uh, happy for it. Two. two, four, two. That's it. This is the end of another exciting show. Stay tuned for Happy Foods 242. Another exciting show coming to you soon where food is a source of life. Bye. Bye.